Mary and Liam, you're very, very welcome. Love you to have you here with us today. How are you feeling, Mary? Are you good? No nerves or anything? Not anymore. You're happy now that you're here beside, beside Liam, and he's happy as well. So you're very, very welcome. I welcome the lovely bridesmaids. I welcome Ashling, April, Michelle, and Sarah. You're looking dazzling girls, look lovely. I welcome the gentlemen. I welcome uh, Timmy, Kieran, Ian, and Alan. You're welcome, lads. I welcome all your families and friends. I welcome all of you who have traveled all the way from, from Westport, Lewisburg, from Fortish. Big gang from Fortish here today. So you're all very welcome. So you all ready to start? Oh my God, you're very quiet. You can all be kne kneel down now and we'll begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and the peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Mary and Liam now have lit two candles at the altar representing their individuality and uniqueness. And they will light their middle candle in the middle to remind their love not pres always present on this very special day. So we, the family of Mary and Liam, are gathered together as God's family. We prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass. We call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord of mercy, Christ of mercy, Lord of mercy, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayers for Mary and Liam, who today are united in marriage before your altar. Give them your blessing and strengthen their love for each other. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. We now sit for the readings. We invite Arden and Nuna. A reading from the Book of Ruth. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people shall be my people, and your God will be my God too. Wherever you die, I will die, and there I will be buried beside you. We shall be together forever, and our love will be the gift of God. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
Be ambitious for the higher gifts, and I am going to show you a way that is better than any of them. If I have all the eloquence of men, of angels, but speak without love, I am simply a gong booming or a cymbal clashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are and knowing everything, and if I have faith in all its fullness to move mountains, but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess, piece by piece, and if I even let them take my body to burn it, but I am without love, it will do me no good whatsoever. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It, di it does not take offense and it is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth. It, it is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. This is the word of the Lord. I invite you to stand now for the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants anymore, because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends because I've made known to you everything I've learned from my Father. You did not choose me. No, I chose you and I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. Then the Father will give you everything you ask him in my name. The Gospel of the Lord. It takes a groom, it takes a bride. It takes two people side by side. It takes a ring and vows that you say, this is your happy wedding day. When marriage vows are sanctified and loving hearts are unified. When standing with the bride and groom, unseen by others in the room, the Spirit of the Lord is here to bless the happy bridal pair. For when God's love becomes a part of body, mind, and soul, and heart, their love becomes a wondrous blending that's both eternal and unending. And God looks down and says, well done, for now you too will be truly one. So Mary, that's what's going to happen to you and Alan in a short little time. You're going to be truly one. Yourself and Liam, that you've talked about and planned all this time. And it was lovely to see David and Patrick coming up, the two of you side by side, giving you away. And I know it is a sad day for them, but it's also a joyful day because 
you're all becoming a family together. And that's what it's all about. And this Mass today rejoices in the wonder and the beauty of both of you, of your love for each other. And we're happy to join with God in thanking you for your devoted love for each other. Because through the mystery of his providence, your lives have met. And as a result, you have experienced that growing desire to give yourselves to each other totally, heart to heart, life to life. And today you're announcing to all of us your love for each other, and you're sealing it in the sacrament of marriage. Because love is the most powerful force in the world. It calls forth the greatest sacrifices. It leads to the deepest commitment and forges the unbreakable bond between two people. You too put it well when they wrote the song, Two Hearts Beating as One. And remember at the rehearsal yesterday when you were putting the rings on your finger? Remember we started with the thumb and you worked up to the fourth finger. And the tradition tells us, I'm not sure do, do, do ladies know this, the reason the wedding ring is on your fourth finger. Old tradition, old folklore tells us that in the fourth finger there's a vein that goes closest to the heart. So when you put the ring on your fourth finger today, your heart will go beating. Isn't that lovely? Absolutely amazing. So we will be, I'm going to take, take your pulse at that particular time, Eric, <laughs> just to see what will happen. And the same with Liam. There's a story told about this couple. You've probably heard me telling this many a time. They were so happily, happily married, lived a long time. Somebody asked them, what was the secret to their long life together? And they paused for a moment that says, we take time, time out. We go to a restaurant twice a week. We have a candlelit dinner. We have soft music and a slow walk home. She said, I go Tuesdays and he goes Fridays. <laughs> what day are you going to go? <laughs> We give you a Saturday or a Sunday, but you'll be going together. Isn't that right? We wish you every blessing. We wish you every happiness. And we pray together that God will truly bless you in your married life together. Now we invite you to come here to the altar to stand for your vows with the bridesmaids and best men. Now, we all set. Yes. Sure? Yes. You sure now you want to go ahead with it? <laughs> the doors are open now if you want to run. <laughs> Dear children of God, you've come to this church that the Lord may seal your love in the presence of this community. Christ blesses this love. He's already consecrated you in baptism. Now, by special sacrament, he strengthens you to fulfill the duties of your married life. Mary and Liam, you're about to celebrate the sacrament. Have you come here of your own free will and choice without compulsion to marry each other? Yes. Will you love and honor each other in marriage all the days of your life? We will. Are you willing to accept with love the children God may send you and bring them up in chorus the law of Christ and his church? We are. I do invite you then to declare before God and his church your consent <laughs> to become husband and wife. That wasn't me now. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
Is that is that a sign? Is that a sign, Mary? Keep going. Keep going. Do you want to get down your knees, Liam? <laughs> Liam, look into her eyes now. Liam, do you take Mary to be your wife? Do you promise to be true to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and honor her all the days of your life? I do. Mary, do you take Liam to be your husband? Do you promise to be true to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and honor him all the days of your life? I do. What God joins together, no one must separate. May the Lord confirm the consent that you've given and writ you with his blessings. Now, oh boys, how it rings. <laughs> Take it, well, uh, Liam, will you take your time? Put them, <laughs> put them back in the box again now. We have to bless them first. He can't wait to get the rings on her. <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> Lord, bless Mary and Liam and consecrate their married life. May these rings be a symbol of their faith in each other and a reminder of their love. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Mary, wear this ring, a sign of her faithful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Liam, wear this ring, as a sign of her faithful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we invite them behind to light their marriage candle together and say their first prayer as husband and wife. Protect our marriage, bless, bless our home, make, make us gentle, keep, keep us faithful, and when, when life is over, unite us again, where parting is no more in the kingdom of your love. There we will praise you in happiness and peace of our eternal home. Amen. I present you now with a brand new couple, Mr. and Mrs. Lee McDonald. We invite you all to stand now for our prayers of the faithful. Lord, we thank you for the gift of friendship. We pray for Mary and Liam's friends who've come from near and far and thank them for all their help, support and encouragement that they have given. Lord, hear us. May all married couples here today be reminded of the joy of their own day. May they Amen. give thanks for the happiness they have known and may each day find them more devoted to each other. 
Lord, hear us. We pray for Mary and Liam as they begin their married life together. May their home be full of joy and laughter. May God give them good health, and may they always find happiness in each other. Lord, hear us. We remember the smiles and laughter of those who have gone before us, who would have loved to share the joy and happiness of this day. We thank God for the happy memories they have left with us. May God one day unite us again. Lord, hear us. By this marriage, two families have been reunited. May both families continue to be a, a source of love and support uh, and guidance through Mary and Liam's life. Lord, hear us. For the gifts of life and good health, which we take so, which we often take for granted, may we always appreciate these gifts and may they bring us closer to God. Lord, hear us. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Shane, I love the glasses. <laughs> now we'll have the gifts of the bread and wine brought to the altar and presented to the bride and groom. Pray now, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept this offering for this newly married couple, Mary and Liam. By your love and providence, you brought them together. Now bless them all the days of your married life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, 
your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hand as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we all may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, with John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we pray together in the words the Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now we ask Liam and Mary to kneel for the nuptial blessing. Lord God, we ask Mary and Liam, now married in Christ, to unite them in his love through the sacrament of his body and blood. Father, by your plan, man and woman are united and married in the establishment as the one blessing that was foretold by original sin and washed away in the flood. Look with love upon woman your daughter, who now joined to her husband in marriage. As she asks your blessing, give her the grace of love and peace. May she always follow the example of the holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May her husband put his trust in her and, and organize that she is equal and their heir with him to the life of grace. May he always honor her and love her as Christ loves his bride, the church. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who were called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you under my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life.
Thank you, John Joe, Liam's dad, for that lovely rendering, whistling yourself of Moonlight in Mayo. Absolutely amazing. Let us pray. Lord, we who have shared this food at your table, pray for our friends Mary and Liam, whom you've joined together in marriage. Keep them close to you always. May their love for each other proclaim to the world their faith in you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Just to thank all those who did the prayers and the readings. Thank especially to our musicians in the gallery and the, for the lovely music. To Neve Langan, to Grace Killeen, Brendan Hennigan, John McDonnell, and Paul McDonnell. Thank you for the amazing music. Hope you all have a very enjoyable day. And just to congratulate this wonderful couple, Liam and Mary. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Now I invite you to join me behind the altar for the signing of the registers.
Drop the frequency.
Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Just to let you know exactly what's about to happen in terms of photography, we're going to take a group photograph now, of course, of everybody in the church. Then we're going to invite the bridal party to walk down the aisle. I hope you all give them a huge round of applause. Uh, immediate families will be having their pictures taken uh, after the bride and groom have greeted their guests. So can I invite you to stand? Thank you. Okay, everybody, there's going to be two versions of this picture. Number one, as you all are, big cheesy smiles, yes? Number two, the groom is going to hold his beautiful new wife. He's going to give her a long, passionate kiss. Yeah, yeah I, I got your email, Liam. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> He's going to give her a long, passionate kiss, and for that one, we're all going to give them a big round of applause, yes? So, uh, as we are, please, Mammy, a little baby step this way. I want to see you there, yes? Yeah, that's it. Lovely, I can see you now. That's it. I can see you now. All right, guys, on me, please. On three. Here we go. One, two. And again, please, on three. One, two. And again, please, on three. One, two. Okay, Liam, give her a kiss. Give her a round of applause, please. <laughs> 